I'm working on another one of these Delco car stereos. Um, this is another uh, non theft lock model. Um, I'm looking here, and this is how you tell which wires um, you're going to want to solder onto. Um, turn the volume up a little bit with the panel off. And then I got this wire here, which the ground is going to the case. And then the other end is plugged into this computer. It's playing music. So basically you can just poke these around until you find one that makes music. It's a bit hard to do while holding the camera. Well anyway, we can tell by doing that that it is these two I'll take a better picture because the camera is not focusing good. But it's these two wires there. And this is the FM board. So I'm going to need to desolder them here, follow them down to the bottom, desolder them, and then solder a switch in place. I'm just going to gently use this knife here to uh, cut the ribbon apart. And like I said, as you can see here, it is um, the second and third wire on this end. So I'm just going to go ahead and carefully, off camera, cut those wires apart so that I can desolder them out. Test it further before I actually do any soldering. As you can see, I severed those wires. Um, so now, when I turn it on, stereo lights blinking, no sound at all, because I severed the tuner from the amp. So now I should be able to touch this wire to um, the wire that used to go to the tuner and it should play. And it did work on the right and left channel. So that confirms that I did indeed cut the right wires. So now I just have to desolder this from this board, desolder these from those boards, and solder my wire in in place of them. Here I got these two wires desoldered, and they're out. Now I'm about to solder this piece of Cat5 into the hole where they used to go. I got the orange wire soldered onto the FM board. And the blue wire I soldered onto the amp board, or the preamp board, as you can see. Um, on the on this side, you can hardly tell um, where it is, but it's those two I marked with the sharpie. It is one. There's one, and then it's two and three, and two and three are the ones we're gonna be replaced. Angle of what I did. As you can see down there, that is the amplifier board, and I soldered these two wires to pins two and three from that side, and I soldered onto there. And it's a good uh, point to remember which colors you use for what. So I used red, white pair, or orange white pair to the tuner, and you can tell it's the tuner because it has the antenna plug. So uh, orange white goes to the tuner and blue white goes to the preamp board. You can use any color you want, but those are the colors I used and I try to use that as my standard color code when I'm working on these radios. Back in the FM board because we're not going to need it anymore. So what I'm going to do next before I do anything else, I'm going to just twist these two wires together and make sure that the radio still functions as it used to. I just twisted these wires together and test it and make sure both speakers still work left right and it still works so that tells us that we did a good job of soldering onto the circuit boards so now we just need to solder a switch on here and a choose a spot on the front for the audio jack and the switch 
I'm thinking somewhere around this area. <clears throat> I soldered the switch and uh, I soldered the um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And what I did was, as I already stated, the blue wire was going to the amp and the orange wire was going to the tuner. So be sure the blue wire, the one going to the amp, is the center position on the switch. So then on the when the switch is flipped, it switches between the amp board and the green wire there, which goes to the jack. Um, the other important thing is the jack um, has a ground wire. And the ground wire has to be attached to the case somewhere. It doesn't matter where, but I just found an easy spot. I poked it through to the other side and just put it around that screw. But it can really go to any screw anywhere in this thing. Um, but that's about it. I'm going to put it back together and see how it works. So I'm finished with this radio. As you can see, it works pretty good. Both right and left. When I flip this switch, goes to the radio. Flip it back, goes to the input jack. And this does not affect the cassette player at all. It still functions perfectly fine. So I think that's a success.